Hello Recap Watchers, welcome back to another video of Twisted Movies. Today, I am going to be explaining a 2006 action-adventure movie titled Poseidon. Warning, spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. The starting of the movie shows us a gigantic ocean liner called the Poseidon, sailing with thousands of passengers on board. Two of those passengers are Jennifer and Chris, who are together. They both got into an intimate conversation, when Jennifer's father Robert, who was the former New York mayor and firefighter, interrupted them by walking into the room they are in. With his rude behavior, Jennifer angrily leaves the room, leaving her father and her boyfriend behind. Move on to the next scene. We see a young lady named Elena, who got into the ship because of her friend Valentine, who's a cook on the ship. She meets Dylan, a professional gambler, who was once a Navy submariner. She then asks him of a place in the ship, which Dylan shows her the way. Later on, we get to meet Richard, who is an old man on the ship, trying to reach someone on the phone. Later at night, the captain of the ship then makes some compliments about Poseidon, ending his speech by introducing Gloria, the ship's singer. Dylan later bumps into a little kid named Connor, which he apologizes to him. There, he spots Connor's mom, Maggie, who is a widow. As the passengers are enjoying the New Year's Eve party, one of the officers sights a massive rogue wave bearing down on the ship. They try to turn the ship to starboard to take the wave bow first, to survive the wave. With all their effort, they still failed to steer the ship, due to the ship being too slow. The wave then capsizes the ship. This leads many including the bridge officers and the crew to die. After the sudden disaster, people who survived began panicking. Meanwhile, Jennifer starts looking for Chris, and sees him being stuck. Jennifer tries to lift the object off, but couldn't. She then calls Elena, who was at the time looking for safety, and asks her to help her get the object off of Chris's leg. Maggie, who's in a haste to find her son, Soon, Robert sees her son on top of a piano, which is way up from the ground. Robert then calls for help, and brings Connor down by using a curtain. The ship gets even more dangerous, when the ship's electricity becomes more exposed, and starts burning the passengers on the ship. Still stuck, Jennifer tries to look for a way to save her boyfriend, and decides going to look for something she can use to leverage the object. As she considers going, Chris then stops her. Elena sees this, and considers she should go instead of Jennifer. In the ballroom, the captain of the ship, Captain Hartford, then assures the surviving passengers that help is on the way, and convinces them to stay put. Unconvinced, Dylan then devises a plan to get out of the ship. He tells Connor, who in return tells his mother about his plan. With this, Dylan leads Connor, Maggie, Robert, Richard, and Valentine to find Robert's daughter and find a way out of their capsized ship. Back to Elena, who previously volunteered to help get a tool, so that they can lift what's on Chris's leg. While searching for the leverage, she witnesses an alive body, which is under some other dead bodies. The person, Lucky Leary, then holds onto Elena's hands, as a way to get out of the other dead bodies which are on top of him. As Dylan and his crew head up, they have to cross an elevator shaft, since the elevator has been damaged. Seeing a way out, they began searching for something they can use to hold themselves when crossing between. Upon seeing it, Dylan, Maggie, Connor, and Robert then cross the elevator shaft safely remaining Richard and Valentine to cross it. With the way things were going, Valentine then lets Richard to go up before him, but the thing holding them up couldn't hold any longer, and pulls down, leaving Valentine to hold Richard's leg, as Richard holds onto Dylan's hand. Due to their weight and the elevator ready to fall from up, Dylan decides to tell Richard to let go of Valentine, which Richard eventually agreed to. This causes Richard to shake Valentine off his leg, causing him to be crushed by the falling elevator. After the elevator falls down, it then produces a huge explosion inside the ship, making the other surviving passengers to panic the more. They've lifted the object off of Chris, with the help of Leary. They soon later reunite with Robert and his surviving friends. Richard then tries to help Elena who is depressed about what happened including the death of her trusted friend Valentine. The group then passes a makeshift bridge across the lobby, where Lucky Leary, who was at the time crossing the bridge, gets crushed by a falling engine. Meanwhile, the captain Captain Bradford, and the rest accept their fates when they saw the pressure from the water cracking the ballroom windows, drowning them to death. While drowning, the other eight participants listen to their screams as they cry for help. Still searching for a way out, the group passes through an air duct, where Elena at first, refused to go, maybe she might have a fear of confined spaces, but she was later grabbed by Dylan, so that she can go into the air duct, while trying to come out, it then appears that they couldn't come out because of the nut holding the duct cover. Since Robert couldn't reach the nut, he brings Connor who can easily lose the nut with his tiny little hands. After opening it, they finally get out, even though Elena was unwillingly to pass through the air duct. 
Their next obstacle is some ballast tanks, which Elena hits her head when swimming underwater and drowns as a result. She eventually died, even though they tried their best. As they come out alive, they heard some sound, which they thought were people who have come to rescue them. With them screaming for help, they were sad to see there was no one, but only a damaged telephone. With the ship slowly sinking, the survivors soon see themselves in a lounge where they find the bow is already covered with water, until an explosion of the engine room lifts it out of the water. With this kind of opportunity, the survivors left, leaving Dylan who goes out to save Maggie and her son before drowning in the water. The group then enters the bow thruster room to find the thrusters still running. With the path already blocked by propellers, and knowing that the control room is submerged in water, Robert tries to swim to turn off the engine, but got stopped by Chris, who volunteered to do it, since he has the best chance of making it back. As Chris tells Jennifer he loves her, Robert swims away to turn off the engine. He finds the shutoff switch to be broken, but presses the reverse button instead, before drowning to death. Dylan and Maggie including her kid then finally reunites with Jennifer and the rest. When Dylan later discovers that he didn't shut the propellers down but reversed it, so that they can throw objects at the propellers, he then throws a nitrogen tank into it, causing an explosion that destroys the propeller and leaves an opening for them to escape through. The group then jumps down from the capsized ship to the water and swims to a nearby inflatable raft. After getting into the raft, the ship starts to sink. As they are paddling away, the waves then push the raft farther away from the sinking ship. The survivors look on as Poseidon flips back over and across the water and sinks stern first deep into the ocean. After firing a flare to draw close attention towards them, two choppers and several ships arrive to rescue them, having the location of the Poseidon's GPS location. If you like more of this video, you can kindly subscribe, like or hit the bell icon, so that you can get our latest videos or not notifications about this channel.